Howdy, how y'all doing? This is George Furnish Ram Ram. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Today we're in Endeavor at Meow Wolf doing an interactive art exhibit. You know what? Do me a favor, come join us. I'm at Meow Wolf. Meow. Oof. Meow. Oof. With that low price of around $50 per person, that's for general admission. You get to immerse yourself in an out of the world experience to the Convergence Station. After Irk receives a telepath, yeah, you get to commute via Quantum Department of Transportation to the Convergence, a bustling city created by a rare cosmic event that joins four alien worlds. Entering to a crazy universe of colorful perspective art. From the lobby, you ride the sea line and step into a busy and colorful but Blade Runner style city that once was scorned sanitation district of a planet wide metropolis. You have this feeling of a dark and dreary futuristic city where everyone recycles but with the hinting at a history of an environmental calamity. It is said that C Street, the one we're on, has become the melting pot for beings across the universe after the convergence. The residents of C Street don't trust their politicians, just like me, so they elect a new mayor every 20 minutes. So step up to the election booth, or what they call a portal, and vote for the future mayor of C Street. You just might get a joker, or the local idiot. It is good to know that the Convergence is a place where memories is currency. As these four worlds turbulently collided with one another, memory storms echo throughout the world causing countless memories, backstories, and personists to be scattered and displaced from the people of these newly melted worlds. Since converging unexpectedly a generation ago, the people of these four worlds have been forging new lives together and inviting you to join them in creating new memories. As you explore, you can weave your own threads into an evolving tapestry of the story of convergence. To help you through this journey in creating new threads of memory and getting some of that memory recollection, you might want to get one of these Q passes. It's three bucks. The Q pass is an optional RFID card that transfers your visit to Convergence Station into a more interactive quest. By unlocking digital content, the QPass allows you to discover more about the citizens of the Convergence and explore deeper into the story of their worlds. When you enter the Convergence, you'll see a bus from Denver Sun Valley neighborhood which makes no sense or evidence since the bus from Denver to be in the universe when Earth is not one of the stories of the four convergent worlds. The storyteller cleverly incorporates a key plot line that justifies the story, one being a bus driver named Pan Rodriguez. Pam is a critical character in their narrative. She was a bus driver that 27 years ago, she drove her bus through the portal at the exact moment of the convergence. It is your quest to find the true story of these four missing women. Sacrifice to say, you're gonna need that cue card to unlock clues to the story that come to you in these forms of inconspicuous ATM machines and games that slowly reveal the story to you. I didn't read the newspaper out there, but it was talking about the forgotten four. These four women are rumored to have caused the convergence. Join the search. Don't let them forget me be forgotten. I'm trying to uncover of their disappearance. Why? During this search, you get to travel through countless rooms of amazement and American pop art that will hopefully fill your mind with wonderful memories or memes in which they call them. Blue meat, green meat, a blob of meat. Of course, sausages. Oh, somebody, hello? Uh, you can, they give you a message. Got a 
Dial one of these numbers. What? Dial one of these numbers. Hello? Hello? Wait, let him talk to you. You're gonna get a message. I got Jack. Oh, for a second. Forbes writes, What makes Meow Wolf so different than that typical art installation is that it's not something you look at, it's something you immerse yourself in. In this case, playing a life-size whack-a-mole. Exiting out of C Street, you'll be entering into a new world, Emia, the ice world. Emia has been plagued with a thousand-year ice age. Heading into different worlds is some of the fun aspects of being here at Meow Wolf. As you enter into Emia, the home of an ancient advanced civilization, use the power of the navigators to explore the vast cosmos and bring back knowledge to help further their abilities. When one of their three sons exploded and forced them into an ice age, it also sent Emia to the outer skirts of the solar system. Now once was a significant planet that has now been reduced to a hopeless and desperate few. The Emians, wandering the frozen tundra, kept their eyes on the stars, longing for a rift in the sky to open, allowing them to return home and open a new era of light and warmth. Heading into another convergent station world, Ossuary. I call it the underground world because it's an underground theme network of corridors and junctions connecting many custom and flex spaces. Ossuary is an ancient underground space. It is home to Osh, an unusual crystal with the ability to store memories or mems. Osh has become the golden standard, repository for memories from across the convergence through both sanction and shadow market memory trading. Yep the black market of memories. Throughout the convergence, Osh is incredibly valued. Why? It turned a once small economy into a major one. It gave the underground Os Trading Society a chance to resurface and also boast the library's trove of multiverse information. But there's a fear that newcomers will corrupt and steal Os. And some think Oseri must be protected at all costs. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Oh, this is really, really weird. A little bit of fact. Ossuary is a noun that has the definition of a container or room which the bones of dead people are placed. Oh, I kind of feel dead already. where did you go? Half art displays and half fun house Ossuary was a fun place to explore, but we need to head on to that fourth planet. Numina is an organic landscape that is actually a six-dimensional sentient planet. Simply put, this planet has the ability to have feelings, meaning that Numina experiences sensations and emotions. The question might be, will you have emotions exploring this planet? Everything within this space is either an organelle or a single cell. The many cells you see here in Numina are timelines and universes within. The nice thing about paying your 50 bucks to get in, we as visitors have been welcoming into the whole. We are one with Numina. With a little bit of understanding of knowledge here, Numina exists beyond linear time. It exists everywhere at any point, any time, simultaneously. Due to the convergence, Numina is anchored in the third and fourth dimension, where it learns about language, linear time, and of course, what we love, free will. 
between a two-story metallic spaceship, gnarled trees trimmed with a strangely colored moss and lichen, and fantastical creatures, the eccentric artwork rivals those of even the most particular sci-fi universes. My photography does not give this justice or the glandure that you feel walking around with the sounds, the feels, and the sights. You have to visit a place like this to understand what the artists are trying to portray. Just to kind of let you know, we spent more than five hours here enjoying all the scenery, sights, and the art. We took a break about halfway through and spent a lot of money on some lemonade. In our mind, this place was amazing, and we did not do or see everything this exhibit offers. A must return. Wow, this year has been fun here exploring at the Convergence here in Meow Wolf in Denver, Colorado. You know, looking around, exploring the different planets, yeah, and feeling like a Blade Runner replicant. Oh, that was enjoyable. Yep, I sure would do this again, or at least visit another Meow Wolf in a different city. I want to thank everyone for joining us today. It's been a fun tour. You know it's free? Subscribing. So if you haven't yet subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like this type of content. And give me two thumbs up. This is George the Phyllis Rambler. I want to play Replicant again. Signing off.